At 34 years old, Kobe Bryant is averaging 29.2 points per game, which is second in the NBA, and everyone knows that the Lakers are struggling. So let's take the Lakers' current situation and insert 34-year-old Michael Jordan while removing the 34-year-old Kobe Bryant. Are the Lakers then a playoff team? I'll start with you first, Skip. Are we seriously asking this we question? We are asking this question. Who came up with this question? You did. Oh, I did. You did. Thank you. <laughs> Not only would the, would the Lakers, I mean, it's, it's a joke to even say would they be a playoff team. Mm -hmm. They would definitely be a contender. And I must admit, the more I thought about it last night, I'm the biggest Jordan fan on the planet. Mm -hmm. I admit it. I'm not ashamed of it. The more I thought about it last night, I just think they might win it all with 34-year-old Michael Jordan. You wait a minute. You give Michael Jordan, Dwight Howard, and Gasol, and Steve Nash, and Meta, and Earl Clark, and Jameson, and Jody Meeks, and all of a sudden it would transform into what a lot of people thought it was going to be from the start. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a Western Conference contender for sure. Mm -hmm. And Stephen A., here, here's the bottom line to this discussion. Michael Jordan made teammates better on and off the floor because easily the greatest competitor and player ever was one of the greatest leaders ever. As great as Kobe Bryant is in and of himself, he flies solo. There's no leadership there to me at all. He does not make teammates better, which is why at this moment, Michael Jordan has taken 119 more shots than anybody else in the entire NBA. Michael Jordan? You mean Kobe? I'm sorry, Kobe, Kobe I'm Bryant. sorry, Kobe Bryant. Yeah. He's taken 119 more shots than anybody else. And even though you keep saying, well, he's hitting X percent of his shots, his team is 17 and 25. How can that be? Because Kobe is Kobe. Kobe lives in his own world. And let's sum this up. 97, 98. Michael Jordan took a team with, with these two guys at center. Luke Longley and Bill Winnington. Really? At center? Oh, wow. That, uh, have they ever been confused with Dwight Howard? I don't think so. Dennis Rodman was 37 years old that year. Really? Ron Harper was 34 years old. Really? Scottie Pippen was starting to show a little age at 32 and left the, the, uh, the next year and, and didn't do anything anywhere else in Houston or in Portland. Michael Jordan. Really? Will you hurry up? Michael Jordan? Are you <laughs> right. That's it's, it. Yeah, that's Why are we asking this because, question? Because that's Could they be a well, playoff well, team? Well, yes, well, they first, would be a playoff well, first team. First of all, first of all, we're asking the question because you brought it up. Secondly and more importantly, <laughs> I said I secondly did. and more importantly, it's Michael Jordan. So it uh, should require that soliloquy. Now let's get down to bare bones and let's break it down. Skip I you, just did. I'm getting ready to break it down. I broke you down. Now, I hope you're listening. How you know that day I've been smoking yet? Trust me when I tell you. You can't argue against Michael Jordan. I'm, I'm about to. I'm about to. Oh, because this is warming up, Chris. Are you ready? Are you <laughs> ready? Lightning might just strike. Here we go. Look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Go. Skip Bayless, there's so much to teach you about the game. Listen up. Come closer. Roll that chair closer. Come on. I want you to wait, comprehend. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I want you to comprehend. I only learned, my, I learned my basketball from Michael Jordan. Come I'm in. sorry. Come in. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen up. Listen up, Skip. I agree with every single word you said yeah. about Michael Jordan. The question was, can he do something with this? Meaning the Lakers. Mm -hmm. That's a different okay. ball game. Okay. Okay. See, you try to change the argument. I'm bringing you home. This, <laughs> this is not an indictment. Let me make sure because I don't want to sit there and see some, dark, some, some SUV with tinted windows coming at me saying, come here, MJ. like Michael Jordan yeah, 10 years ago. No, I'm not talking about Michael Jordan. Don't do it, MJ. I know he's the greatest <laughs> ever. This is not an indictment against him. But let's break this down. Number one, if you remember when they won the first rings, they had the Bill Cartwrights, the Will Perdues of the world, the Stacey Kings, okay? Those guys. Three headed Be respectful monster. of Will Perdue from Let's Vanderbilt it. University. I'm just saying. Go ahead. The three headed yeah, monster, right. at the very least, mm -hmm. 18 fouls, mm -hmm. defend, rebound, know your role. You had Horace Grant, he was averaging a double double, know your role. Bottom line, you had Scottie Pippen, who you just continue to gloss over. This dude is one he of the deserves to be glossed. That's it, that's, no, no, no. He deserves to be glossed over if you're if he is comparing himself to Michael Jordan. No, he does deserve to be. Do you think he was over. a top 50 no, no. player? You know what? Yes, because of both ends of the floor. Oh, please. Uh, he could listen. If you're talking about offense, of course oh. I want the birds of the world and others ahead of him. But if you're talking about total package, what you do on both ends of the floor, I mean, come on, Skip. This dude, remember, 
even though Magic, even though Michael could defend anybody, the difference in the series between the Lakers and the Bulls when they won their first ring, a series you covered, I did. is that my Scottie Pippen picked up my Magic Johnson 94 feet. Skip, he's 6'9". He's 6'9". He can move. He can defend. Mm -hmm. He was... He was is one of the greatest supplementary parts in NBA history. There is no denying it. Okay. There's no denying it. Now we go to the second three, Pete, and we get to the when Michael Jordan was that age. Well, who do you have? You have the Luke Longleys of the world. You still have the Horace Grants of the world. You have the Ron Harpers of the world, et cetera, et cetera. Michael Jordan was working with something, and you have a great coach. Working with Listen, something? Yes, because you have guys who knew their roles, was incredibly experienced, who knew how to play, who knew how to win, and you were exceptionally well coached. You look at the Los Angeles Lakers, you have, take Kobe aside, you've got Dwight Howard, who's a liability on the free throw line, okay? You got Pau Gasol with bad knees, bad ankles. Also, you have a coach in Mike D'Antoni who wants a frenetic pace, who wants to run the ball up and down the court, who wants to shoot every 7 to 12 seconds, who is learning on the fly how to coach defense. Michael Jordan, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not the Chicago Bulls he inherited when he first came into the league. And he had Orlando Wooldridge and Quentin Bailey and, 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 and all Daily. of these no names, Daily yeah, rather, yeah. and all of these no names. Mm -hmm. No. He, this is not them, but at the same time, the pieces that he has doesn't necessarily match. They would not be able to defend. They would not be able to rebound. They would not be, a, and they certainly wouldn't be as exceptionally well coached. And the confidence, you remember, Michael Jordan didn't start winning until Phil Jackson became the coach and Scottie Pippen elevated his game. Before then, Michael Jordan was crying on the buses in Detroit in, in the Eastern Conference so Finals because he couldn't it get over the more. Hall. It's not it just Michael more. Jordan. It takes so, more. So, so for you to say, I'm not, I'm not equating Kobe or anybody else to MJ. I'm simply saying you can't, to, to sit here and say, that with this collection, combined with this coaching, with Jim Buss running this organization, instead of Jerry Krause and Ryan Storff, who deserve credit as well, you trying to tell me that Michael Jordan would have been able to overcome all of that? Yes. Beating Kevin Durant? Yes. Beat San Antonio? Yeah. Beat Chris Ball and the Clippers? Beat Miami with LeBron and D-Wade and those boys? You must be smoking. I don't something. know if he could have beaten no. San Antonio. That would have been tough. But other than that, oh, yes. please, please, you know better. You know better. <sighs> No better. Come on, you're not looking at the Lakers. You're not looking at the Lakers if you think that. I'm looking hard. I'm looking at former All-Stars. I'm looking at former MVPs. I'm looking at three-time Defensive don't Player of the Year. work together. Okay, Michael Jordan would together. coach this team. You know what he'd say to Mike D'Antoni? Sit down, shut up. That's what he'd tell him. Mm -hmm. Seriously, he would. Really? I'm going to run this show. Okay. Can yeah. Kobe do that? If that's the case, why didn't he do that with Doug Collins, who is clearly an exceptional coach? Why didn't he do that then? Because Doug Stephen Collins a. left and Phil Jackson came on as the coach. I think he I respected Doug Collins. Stephen oh. A. You know Kobe. Can Kobe do that? Can Kobe say to D'Antoni, let me handle this? Kobe's got too much working against him. Mike D'Antoni is incredibly stubborn, and you have Buss, who does not care about Kobe's interests. He cares about his own. Jim Buss is making decisions based on his personal feelings as opposed to what he knows about the game of basketball. I'm not accusing him of not knowing the game of basketball. I'm accusing him of allowing his personal feelings to usurp his basketball acumen, and it's gotten in the way. That's why he hired Mike D'Antoni. That's why he hired Mike Brown before that instead of Brian Shaw. Okay. And I'm not saying Brian Shaw was better than Mike Brown because I actually think Mike Brown's a good coach. I'm simply saying it was clear that Kobe wanted Brian Shaw instead of Mike Brown. He didn't think about any of that because Jim Buss was more interested in severing all connection okay. with Phil Jackson right. than he was in doing what was Bottom the line, interest of the Lakers. Right now, with Michael Jordan, this team would be 17 and 25. I don't know about that, but I'm saying that well, what you, do you think it would be? Remember, I predicted that the Lakers would find a way to make the playoffs, but I don't think they now. But I don't think they would go past the first round. I certainly don't believe they'd be a championship contender. They'd go home with Michael Jordan. So too. with Michael Jordan, they would lose in the first round. That's what probably. You're saying. Probably because they wouldn't be a top four seed, and then they'd have to play one of the top four seeds, and they'd get bumped off. That is because the most have... disrespectful no. thing you have, have ever have said Michael on this Jordan show. Michael Jordan never lost in the first round before. Yes. In, in his yes. early years. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And this is like his early years because that's the state of the Lakers. That's the state of the Lakers. That's what you're not hearing. It would flip the state as of the soon Lakers. as he walked in the practice floor. Please, door, please. It, it, would, it would turn and, around. If that's the case, that he should never need his Pippen. He should have never needed Phil Jackson. Mm. He should have never needed Robin in the second go round. After he came out of retirement, lost in the red second round to 37 Orlando. Thirty-seven years old. Lost in the second round to Orlando on those boys. Okay, and then he came back. 
they got Rodman, and they started winning again. You're talking about the greatest winner in the history and of sports. I, I'm not denying it. I'm just saying this situation in L.A. is worse than you realize. No. That's my point. Not about Michael and Jordan. that is 